Hello, tubers and groovers, and welcome to Take Other Fear Out the Gear with me, Jason Bangers. And me, Mr. Chumley Warner. And now we're going to check out some more Behringer news. More Behringer goodness is coming, it's coming. More Behringer goodness, check we. So, it's August. We have some more news for you. Oh, there's loads of stuff going on. So the first one we're going to bring you is the Behringer RS9, which is the, called the Rhythm Sequencer. And basically it's the sequencer, vers sequencer bit out of the, the RD9. And we can show you a picture now. There's a pallet full of them. Again, when there's a pallet, you know they're coming. So I think they're going to be shipping soon. And we'll just show you a, a picture of what it looks like in case you haven't seen it before as well. Yeah, in all its glory. So they are definitely ready to be delivered. So I reckon so. Get your orders in if you're after one, that's what we're telling you. Definitely. Get in sharpish like. And then this is another another new one. I think these are going to be shipping soon. There's, there's rumours. Maybe they'll ship to America first, then, then over to Europe. But it's the new Behringer K2 Mark II. Because the, the K2 has been out for quite a while now. And they've upgraded it to the Mark II. It's a copy of the MS-20, Korg MS-20. Cracking bit of kit. And apparently they've updated the filters. Uh, and it's got oscillator sync, uh, frequency modulation, PWN, and does volts per octave. All the good stuff. I think these are some of the new features. If you guys know any more, stick them in the comments. Yeah, yeah, because we ain't got one. And then this one is another one from the Tribers. Still, An idea. Still ain't got my sequencer, yearly. <laughs> <laughs> the Tribers have been at it again. They've been gathering and talking and chatting and making making up ideas for the future maybe yeah this this looks quite interesting this uh, we'll, we'll show you a picture uh it's a guy's idea and it's called he wants to call it the pro sequencer 16 good name so it's like a euro rack sequencer module uh using sort of old school analog sequencing with led encoders so you can see what the settings are yeah all. and with full cv control so i think that's a, that's a neat little idea that one yeah we don't know prices on these yet do we so well that, that one that would have to be up to behringer to yeah to see if they're interested in making something like that don't ask oh yeah well of course this is an idea i'm forgetting yeah so there won't be a price on something that doesn't exist but but maybe the tubers can uh suggest some prices yeah, how yeah. much would you want to pay for something like this who knows what baron you will listen i guess they would this one's quite exciting kind of my favorite this one for the yeah, moment the syncussion we've, we've mentioned it before yeah and apparently there's reports people have been getting them delivered in their hands open boxes and they've got them so uh so they are definitely out there to buy that's it yeah so if you want one order one and uh, i reckon we'll get you'll get it pretty soon yep and this is uh because we like to keep an eye on yuli we do like to keep an eye on what so, he's up to so oh he's been a busy boy is our yuli yes he's been meeting with uh, the head of toman the big music group called hands we'll show you a picture they're exploring new opportunities for collaboration so oh. toman and behringer Getting a closer relationship. so Get, Getting the collab on, boy. That's it. So uh, These our, boys are two heads together like them two. Goodness gracious knows what will be coming our way soon. So, yeah. So, keep an eye on Toman. There'll be some good stuff coming. And then now, this is a bit... This is a, We'll have to apologise. This is a bit of a sad section of the show, this one. Yeah, no, this is sad. I only... Actually, Simon told me this today. I had no knowledge of it. I didn't know. And this is sad, yeah. Yeah, one of one of the Behringer uh, demonstrators, a young lad called Dan Clark, who you've po possibly seen on lots you, of the videos. You all, you all know him because he uses a round light ring, and his eyes has always got like, little rings in them. You know the guy, good looking young lad. And then, unfortunately, the bad news: he's passed away, uh, which is which is uh, truly sad, really. So, our condolences to your family, Dan, and um, however many family members you got. Yeah, thoughts go out to you. Uh, just uh, a just a bit of background. Obviously, he's a truly amazing, talented guy. Loved his music. Uh, I didn't know he played keyboards for Howard Jones. Yeah. Um, we'll show you a picture. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he started working from working for Roland for the age of seventeen. Obviously, doing all his music, and then he worked for Behringer. So you'll you'll be sadly missed, Dan. That's, that's, yeah. Uh, you know, our thoughts are with you and your family. You're great at producing, mate. You had a great feature. Just come across really jovial. It was, you did a really good job, mate, and you will be missed. So, sad news. So we don't want to end on that particular sad note. So let's move on to another one, which isn't sad. 
And there's just a... Uh... Oh, <laughs> one more thing. One more thing. So uh, this is a this is a more this is a happier idea. Uh, one of the guys on the tribe who's got one of the Toro base machines copies of the Moog. He's done a little patch chart out of a piece of paper. Yeah. And uh, yeah, here it is for you to look at. So I suppose if you've got plenty of time and plenty of paper, you, you, I, think, you, I think it's hilarious, personally. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, if you could have one that was adjustable each time. Mm -hmm where you could just, just pop it through you know to save your settings we're talking about you find a setting that you like and it's hard to find again take a photograph of it and mark it that's it say what it is save the trees save the trees save yeah. the trees but what a fantastic idea really good idea i yeah. like it yeah well done <laughs> yeah that's is, that is quite quirky i guess if you had a picture of it on something plastic whereas you put it down and that pushes through but pushes like plastic bits out of the way or something That'd and then when you cool. when you take it off, you click a button so it locks there, or yeah. you get, or you can click the refresh button so it starts again so you can use it another time. Well, there you go. Or, or if it was electrified, and you could you, you go right. I want pattern one, and that goes zzz, zzz, and give you pattern one, and that would be, be like automation. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Who knows? Who knows? Well, thanks again for tuning in, guys. Again, you've been you have been subscribing. We're not going to ask you, so thanks for that. Hit the like button now if you don't mind. Share, tell all your friends. Yeah, and ring that bell. Um, we've been take the fear out of the gear. You've been fantastic. I've been Jason Bangers. I've been Mr. Chumley Warner. We're out of here. Ciao for now, guys. See you on the next one. <laughs>